channel. So in today's video, I have a really, really fun, exciting challenge. Beauty Bay has challenged me to feature products from all around the world. So I try to fit as many different brands in here as possible. And I also research where the brands are from. So I created this makeup look today. And I also feature some products that is amazing for drier skin. So if you guys want to see how to create this makeup look, please keep watching. Okay guys, so let's get started. My background looks awfully white today. Hell yeah, professional in the house. So I am starting off on my bare face again. You guys seem to like my bare face makeup tutorials to the full glam. So let's get going. So I'm going to be using mostly brand new products in this makeup tutorial. I'm going to start off with the Alpha H Liquid Gold 24 Hour Moisture Repair Cream. Oh my god. What a mouthful. Alpha H is an amazing skincare line. I love their liquid gold. That's what they're famous for. And this is from Australia. It's quite tingly, this moisturizer. We've got a bit of glycolic acid in it. That's what they're known for. Australia skincare is so good. They always do really good stuff for spots. I think it's Australia where tea tree oil comes from. 24 hour moisture repair. Yes, I need to repair these spots, please, thanks. So next up, I'm gonna wear some primer on my skin just to make my foundation last and go on really, really smooth. This is from a brand called Paul & Joe and this is actually a Japanese brand. So you guys know how I feel about Japanese, Korean skincare, all that good stuff from Asia, yes, give it to me. And this is called the Moisturizing Foundation Primer. So it's actually like a nudie kind of color, which looks really, really cool. I'm just gonna do like two pumps on my hand. It actually looks like a foundation in itself. This hopefully should help me with all my redness. I've got so much redness on my skin recently, it's horrible. So they actually have this in a moisturising formula, which is what I'm using. And then there's also another formula, I think more for oily skin. At the moment, my skin's been feeling so dry recently. Feels really nice, super smooth. So I'm going to quickly whack on some lip balm. This is from Dr. Lip Nipple Balm. You can also get this from Beauty Bay. Nearly all out, guys. Ooh, I squeeze it out. So I'm going to whack on a load. And then by the time I do my lips in this tutorial, hopefully all the dry skin will just roll on off, you know. Just get on out of here. This lip balm is so thick, though. Literally, if you sleep in this, it will probably stay on until next week. I'm trying to make sure I list off what countries these products are from. But if I get it wrong, please don't execute me, guys. This is what Google told me, okay? So I'm going to go in with LC micro silk foundation this is really nice because it's got green tea extract and white tea extract and vitamin e in here i think this is made in the u.s but lc was so hard to get in the uk until beauty bay so the shade that i'm using is called sand i'm gonna put a pump on my back of my hair so i'm just putting some on my beauty blender and just blending it all out this one is really nice and moisturizing my skin has been so weird and dry recently so i'm just putting this all over and tapping it on with my damp beauty blender sponge okay so this is what the foundation looks like all over you guys can see it's very glowy still doesn't give it too much coverage probably about a medium coverage i can still see my under eye bags and a few spots coming through but that is what concealer is for so next up, i'm gonna go in with my concealer and this is from a brand called nabla i think this is quite new i saw it on beauty bay's website when i was browsing through and it's actually a brand that's from italy this is the close up concealer and i'm using the shade golden beige oh my god this is a big ass daddy applicator it reminds me of the tart shape tape so this is a completely brand new brand to me i had no idea what color i was I'm very creamy the coverage it has like a, an almondy smell to it. Quite vanilla-y, which is weird for a concealer. So I'm just putting this underneath my eyes. I actually don't like underneath my eyes to be too light. This feels really creamy, which is good for my dry ass weird skin at the moment. I think because recently I've been feeling so stressed out. I'll tell you guys in my chatty, get ready with me in my other video. But it's definitely taken a toll on my skin. That's actually a really nice concealer. It's blending super well. Really nice and brightening. So Golden Beige is about like an NC30, 35 from MAC. So a really good colour match. I did well, yes. So I've been trying to find a new cream contour product. And I picked up this brand called Sosu. And it is a contour on the go cream stick. This is in the cool shade. And Sosu is actually an Irish brand. So I love my Irish sisters. I always feel like they're so supportive. And they all love makeup so much if you're from ireland please comment down below okay i'm gonna apply it directly onto the skin just around my forehead as well 
So this colour is actually more aimed for lighter skin tones. They did have a darker one as well, but I wanted something a bit more cool toned anyways for contouring. I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and just blend that out as well. The beauty blender does everything, guys. What do you guys think about the whole beauty blender foundation situation? When I actually saw the promo video, I was so excited about it. I was like, wow, what a cool idea. I love the idea of the applicator and how it's dispersed. It lays down. You can just tap your beauty blender in there. And then when all the controversy happened, I was like, oh, meh. Another tart situation. I blended that really well. I love that colour. It's a really nice, like, cool tone. A bit warm at the same time, so it's not so grey. Okay, I'm just going to powder everything now. And I picked up this Paul and Joe Loose Face Powder. But I actually didn't know this is a refill product. So, I don't know how I'm going to use it. It's meant to go in an applicator already that you have. And you can just buy the refills. But I just bought the refill. So, I doubt that I've made that mistake. So don't make that mistake if you go and buy this product. So, this is what it looks like in here. And it says you cut along here so i'm just gonna make a slight hole just so i can try out the product it's quite a cool idea that you can just buy the refill without having to buy the whole thing again also it's cheaper as well it's like a pinky kind of beigey powder i also picked up a brand new zoeva brush i've been looking for a really big fluffy powder bronzery brush and this is the 96 powder luxe avail brush but i love zoeva brushes they are my favorite favorite makeup brand for brushes so soft and it has like a slight angle to it as well so i'm just gonna dip my brush in there and then where am i gonna dust it off oh no i just dust it off on my hand make do what you got people make do what you got okay so i'm just gonna powder my t-zone where i get oily because my skin's been feeling so spotty recently i've been using a lot of spot medication on my skin so in return it's dried out my skin which is not good Oh, that powder's really nice actually. It's very natural. So I'm just going to define my cheeks just a little bit more. I'm going to use this brand called Art Deco. So Art Deco is from Germany. Similar to Zoeva as well. Zoeva's from Germany. So let's try this product. I love all this packaging and everything. It looks really, really cool. So there's Contour 3, which is the darkest, which is quite nice. And there's also quite warm tones and also cool tones in here as well. So I'm going to use that same Zoeva brush. And I'm going to go in with Contour number 1. So I'm lightly just press it on and then blend it out i do have to say it is quite powdery but it's very pigmented so a little bit goes a long way i'm also going to pick up a little bit of this blush shade right here i love palettes because everything's all in one you know i don't like too much blush i just put a little bit of apples on my cheeks and then it's my favorite step can you guys guess what it is yes it's highlighter baby so this is the nabla pressed highlighter they have quite a lot of shades actually when i was looking on the beauty bay website they had a good five shades of highlighter so i went for the shade in savage which is like a golden shade so let's swatch this for you guys yes golden yes <gasps> oh that is my kind of highlight baby so i'm just gonna put this on the tops of my cheekbones i would love to know where are you guys from down below in the comments and also if you have a favorite country that produces amazing makeup products like for me i feel like japanese makeup and skincare is the good good germany also has amazing makeup brands as well i also feel like paris has amazing makeup brands this highlight is perfect mm. So I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows and I'll be back. I'm just going to fill them in lightly, nothing too crazy. I want to keep this makeup quite simple for you guys to follow along. So I do have a whole video about how I do my eyebrows and stuff like that. So three, two, one. Okay, my brows are on. What do you guys think? Yes, I do have a whole video on my YouTube channel. So make sure you click the link down below in my description. So I'm going to go in with my eyes next. And they keep creasing like mad today. So I'm going to put on an eyeshadow base. I'm going to go in with my Zoeva Eyeshadow Fix Matte Longwear Eyeshadow Base. So I haven't tried much makeup from Zoeva before, so I thought that I'll try quite a few bits in this makeup tutorial. I mainly use Zoeva for their brushes, I think that's what they're kind of well known for, but they have like a whole range of makeup. I haven't even tried their eyeshadows or anything like that, so let's give it all a whirl. So when I was browsing on the Zoeva section, I was like, oh my god, there are so many nice palettes and I could not decide. So I ended up going with this, which look how beautiful this goddamn box is. I do not even want to throw the box away, like this is just goals guys so this box is called the play so inside this box we have three different eyeshadow palettes we have one called blank fusion caramel melange 
and Coca Blend. So I'll show you all three of the palettes. Even this box is freaking pretty. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I have this thing for boxes. When I see a nice box, I just get so happy and I just want to hold onto all of them. And I remember when I first started to do social media, I used to keep all of my PR boxes and then I used to have these empty boxes lying around. And Graham would be like, why the fuck are you holding boxes, bitch? All of this packaging is just so beautiful. So the first one is called Blank Fusion and it's the more of the nude packaging and I really really like this aesthetic. I feel like this aesthetic is really really cute for brides. This one looks quite yellow but it's actually a gold. Oh, that is stunning though. It's stunning. Oh, it looks so yellow on camera. It is quite like a yellowy gold but it's quite like a bridey kind of palette. So the next one is called Caramel Melange. Melange? How do you pronounce that? I am so bad at pronunciation, guys. Oh, this is so pretty. So this one is definitely more like peachy, kind of like nudey kind of vibes. I love this row here of transitions. I love transition shades so much. And this color called Liquid Center. Oh, it's really soft as well. Oh my God, we have to use that. No, come on now. And then the last one is Coca Blend and it's a more of a darker brown. Oh, and this is stunning as well. This one is the deepest palette out of all three of them. And then this shade called Warm Notes. Oh my god. Really nice kind of burgundy purple shade. Okay, I think out of all the palettes, I really like this one. Like the whole vibe of the palette is so me. So I don't want this one to be too long. So I'm not going to go too crazy on the eyes. But I am going to do a nice pop on the lips as well. So I want to keep the eyes still looking cute, but not too basic. You know what I'm saying, guys? I have got some brand new brushes here, which is also from Zariva. And this is a new collection that they brought out. It's called Screen Queen. Oh my god, that's hard to say. Screen Queen. Complete eye shadow set. And it also comes with a little clutch bag, which is really cute. It's like a baby pink. I also really like having different brush handles as well because a lot of my brush handles are just black. So when I'm actually trying to find stuff, it's really, really hard. So when I find new eyeshadow brushes, I'm like, mm, I'm trying to find one with a different colored handle. So this set comes with 12 different eye brushes. They also have a set including face brushes as well, but I mainly need eyeshadow brushes. And the main reason and why I got this brush set is because of this brush. And I'm just like, wow, what would you use this for? I have no freaking clue. But it's called a petite fan brush. And it just looks so in the mini, like just so cute. I am a sucker for like tiny things. And then I also got this to go along with it. It's a classic brush holder. And it looks like this. I really like the look of this on the website because it kind of has two big kind of openings here and then two smaller openings here. So you can kind of divide your eyeliner brush, your eyeshadow brush, your blending brushes. So let's just put that right on him. Yay! How cute. I actually don't have anything really nice to store my brushes in at the moment. At the moment, I just literally use shoe boxes because I have so many brushes. It's just literally freaking big ass box that's meant to be for shoes. For brushes the ratchet ass twee okay so i'm gonna go in with the 239 soft luxe shaper brush so i'm gonna go in this shape of 182 all over and look how pigmented that is oh my god make sure i tap that off so this one is gonna go kind of like all over i love orangey shades on my skin tone if you have blue eyes green eyes if you put orange all over the eyelid honestly it'll make your eyes pop okay and then just to pop the eyeshadow even more i'm gonna go with that liquid center shade and i'll just put this on the center liquid center in the center okay so just underneath my lash line i'm gonna go in with a different brush this is the 225 lux eye blender it's a bit more of like a rounded dome shape so it blends up the bottom lash line really nicely and i'm gonna go in with a bit of start soft eyeshadow i'm just gonna blend this underneath my lash line just to tie it in the smoke at the bottom it's quite like an orangey terracotta brown and the more you blend it out the more orangey it kind of gets so i might actually bring that color into my crease as well just so it kind of merges all together so guys since being a beauty bay ambassador it's been so nice trying out so many different makeup brands and i also feel like sometimes when you do makeup all the time you kind of get stuck in a rut so when you get a chance to like go on to online shopping and see what else is new out there it's like so exciting isn't it crazy how i've been doing makeup for nearly nine years now i just still get so excited about makeup like i love it so much and i still get so excited doing online shopping and getting my new orders in it's the most 
amazing thing ever. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some eyeliner next. This is from Paul and Joe again, and their eyeliners are so good. I actually have this in a pencil form, and oh my god, it's so long wearing. And what I also really like about it is that it's actually like little hairs as well, so you can draw on like little tiny, tiny hairs. It's not just one fat felt tip. So I'm just gonna do like a just a light eyeliner. Look how fine that freaking flick is. Hell yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Like Japanese makeup. Their eyeliners, one, they're so long wearing. Like even just when it comes down to the packaging. Like I don't know if you guys can see. But even this lid here. It has another little lid inside. So when I click it on. It double locks itself. So it makes sure that the eyeliner is going to stay super moist. And super not dry for a long time. So little things like that. It's just like yes. One point for you Paul and Joe. Okay so I just done my liner. And it's super nice and sleek. Like look at how thin that liner got. It was uh, amazing. It was like a dream putting on that eyeliner. So I also picked up this Eye of Horus. I actually don't know what country this is from. It kind of reminds me of like Middle Eastern. But please, if you know where this country is from, please let me know. I'm going to go in with this black eyeliner. And I tried it a bit earlier and it seems super dark. And I've heard it's super long wearing as well. So I'm just going to line my top lash line with this. Hopefully it doesn't smudge. So what this step does, it makes your eyes look a lot deeper. So like, I don't know if you can see this one, but when I look up, it has like all gaps in there. So when you put on your false lashes, it just doesn't look as cute, it doesn't look as natural. Even though we put on false lashes, but you know. It just makes everything look a lot darker, your lash line looks darker. And then another Japanese brand is Fairy Drops. When I went to Malaysia, they actually had this brand here. And I remember seeing it was like a number one bestseller there. And then I went on the Beauty Ray website and I was like, oh, they have Fairy Drops. This is well known because of their brushes. And it also, if you look at it very, very closely, it has little fibres in there. So us Asian gals, we're known to have really short lashes. So what these little fibres does is that it attaches onto your lashes and it extends it and builds your lashes. I really like the little balls on this because it's helping grip onto little baby lashes really well. Okay, and the lashes that I'm going to go in with today is actually from a brand called Velour. Who has used Velour lashes? Velour lashes is one of the first eyelash brands out there and they've actually rebranded. And I had no idea they were on the Beauty Bay website as well. So when I saw them, I was like, what? Lily lashes? Velour lashes? They've got all the lashes. House of lashes. They've got all the good, good lashes on there. So look how bougie this box is. Like a cardboard box. And then inside, that's when it has the actual packaging. And I went for the style in, oops, Naughty Me. And Velour lashes is a brand based from Canada. It also has a little photo of what it looks like on the eye. Very stunning. Look, it's so dark right by the root and it kind of like flares out and it's not too long as well. Okay, so I just applied on the Velour lashes and these lashes are significantly shorter than what I would normally go for. But it's a really nice everyday eyelash if you just want some light lash but still a little bit dramatic because it's quite nice and dark at the same time. What do you guys think? You guys know I'm normally all about the lashes that touches my eyebrows. So I just literally took off all the lip balm on my lips so they're all nice and smooth now. And the lip product I decided to go for is a US based brand and it's called Ofra. And this is also available on Beauty Bay which is really really exciting because Ofra is quite hard to get hold of. So I don't know what colour should I go for. Should I go for the red or should I go for the nude? So I'm going to go for the nude colour first and then after I'll show you also with the red so you guys can see a bit of both, maybe daytime and nighttime. So the nude I'm going to go for is called Las Olas. And this is like a really nice browny kind of shade, perfect kind of tone to match the eyes. And I love Ofra's liquid lipsticks. Their liquid lipsticks honestly like one of the best formulas. It dries down to a really nice matte finish without being sticky. I love it how every video I try to talk when I'm doing my liquid lipstick. So I'm like, oh, 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 and I'm getting smears everywhere. So this is what the nude looks like on. This is probably what I would wear personally, even for daytime and nighttime. But if you do want to spice it up, because I think my eyes are a bit more neutral, I'll show you what the red looks like on. And the red that I'm going to use is called Brickell. So I'm going to take off this lip. And then I'm going to go in with the red shade. This is like a nude tone. I've never had this one before. Oh, my eyes bright. So this is what the red looks like on with this makeup look. 
And then I wanted to also show you another Ofra shade that I actually got directly from Beauty Bay. And this is still the old packaging, but the colour looks insane. So this colour is called Santa Monica, and it's one of those kind of like perfect pink shades. So this is the old packaging, and those other two shades are the new packaging. Now it's all white. I'm not too sure if these shades are new. And if it's not available on Beauty Bay right now, I'm pretty sure it's going to be available soon. So I'm going to link all three of these down below in the description. And then I also wanted to just quickly show you, I've been loving wearing my hair slicked back recently because it's been so hot in London. But I also picked up some Swedish skincare called Sasha Juan. So I've heard so much stuff about their hair care line and so many people tell me how amazing it smells. So I picked up this product called Root Lift Strong Hold. It has a really, really light, fine nozzle. So what I like to do is I like to spray products like this right into my ponytail. And I just like to give it texture because I don't like a perfect pony because I love volume and stuff. So normally I also use a hair powder and what that kind of does, it kind of like tossles up the hair so it's a bit more like puffier. So I picked up the Sasha Juan hair powder. It's just called hair powder. Oh, it comes like this. I've never seen a hair powder like this before. Oh, bitch! What's that line? from white chicks where they diss each other out and they're like your mama's so old her breast milk's like this your mother's so old that her breast milk is powdered you breastfeed like this look how cool it is Woo okay so i'm just putting a bit of the hair powder into my hair just to thicken the hair up without having to backcomb it. And then a product that I'm going to use today, I'm not going to use it now, um, but after I wash my hair tonight, I'm going to go in with this product called the Overnight Hair Repair. Basically, with my hair, even though it's black, this hair at the bottom, it always breaks because basically I used to bleach my hair like crazy and I used to have like balayage and stuff like that. But obviously I dyed it all black now, but inside it's still freaking destroyed and damaged and split ends everything. It says that it's amazing for leaving this on overnight. You don't even have to shampoo it out. So yeah, I'm always after anything that helps with my knotty hair. This is like my perfect ponytail when it's like nice and spread out, nice and tousled. Okay guys, so that's it for this makeup look. I hope you guys like how this look turned out with all the three different lips what lip did you guys prefer i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much to beauty bay for sponsoring this video of course you guys know that i'm a beauty bay ambassador so if there's any other videos you guys want to see or if there's any other products you guys see on the beauty bay website that you guys want me to try please let me know down below if you guys liked any products from this video or if you're just a huge fan of beauty bay they have been kind enough to give me a 10 percent off discount code which i will leave here and then also in my description box so make sure you use that it's only available for one week so make sure you get on it now if there's anything you're eyeing up also please make sure you follow me on my other social media platforms it's just x tweely or snapchat twitter instagram and facebook and also make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also beauty Bay's youtube channel because i am doing quite a few videos over there and also your top favorite beauty influencers are also on there as well so that's it for this video guys enjoy the food please i need my scissors grind he stole them he never gave them back yes I'm at home. Are you eating anything? No, I'm filming a video. Oh. We're going to eat, apparently. It looks so good. Do you like it? Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Ah! Time to get some bubble tea. Bubble tea. Bubble tea. Oh, my God. Let's do the thumbnail before I forget. <laughs>